This is CH from VillagePartSource.com here with a video on how to add a slideshow to this responsive WordPress theme. And I want to get rid of all this stuff altogether, or at least change it around, get rid of this call to action button, and just have my slideshow over here on this right hand side. So, first thing I'm going to do, let's go to our back end, let's click on Appearance, Theme Options, Home Page, Hello World. I'm going to call it my company, which is Village Park Source, subheadline the ultimate source call to action you can take for that it's not going to matter welcome to village park source this is where legends are born write anything there for your content i'm going to save this i'm going to go to theme elements and uh disable bread crumbs click to disable yes to Disa disable call to action button yes i'm going to delete both those okay let's reload this Village Park, okay, I got rid of that call to action button. Now I want to go ahead and get a slideshow. And for a responsive theme, the slideshow that I want to use is called the Easing Slider. Easing Slider 1.2.1. And it's absolutely free. You're not stealing anything. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here, and there it is, version 1.2.1. I'm going to go ahead and download it. It's going to take a second. I shouldn't really need to pause the video. Pull up my finder. Let's go to Downloads. Easing slider. Okay, let's drag this out, just like that. Uh, replace. I guess I already had it there. So just drag it to your desktop. Now I'm gonna go ahead and find that folder. It's I'm on localhost right now. So wherever your folder is, track it down. And my web my WordPress theme is called Village Part Two. Whatever yours is called, it's probably not Village Part Two. Content WP and content plugins. Easing slider. Just drop it in there. I already have it in there. So we can go back to it now and let's go ahead and add some images. So I once you add it to your WordPress theme, come down to easing slider at the bottom. And I'm quickly going to pause the video. Sorry about that. Okay, welcome back. So once you click on easing slider, it should show you a picture of this. And right down here, this is where we're going to add our images. And I already have four images that I just got from Apple products and I just Googled them. I've got like a iPad there, iPhone 5 iMac and a MacBook. So I'm going to pull these images up. I'm going to click on upload image, drag them from my desktop, Apple One. Let's go ahead and choose that. Make sure your image isn't huge. Make sure it's not like 2000 by 1000. This is 300 by 168. That's fine. Insert into post. Save it after every image. Let's go down. There it is. Okay, looks good. Let's go to upload image. Select files. Let's track down Apple Two from my desktop. Click on that. Is this image huge? No, 222 by 227 in height. Insert into post. Let's go ahead and save that. Let's upload one more image just for the sake of the tutorial. We'll have three, Apple three, and that's a MacBook. Uh, iMac, I apologize. And this is 275 by 183, so these should all work. Because, let's save this. Oh, didn't, okay, I'm sorry, let's go ahead and three, my iMac, insert into post, I'm not sure what I clicked before, there it is, okay, let's look at it, save it, there's my Mac, okay, so if you look at our space right here, this is about 500 pixels in width by about 350 pixels and height. So make sure your images don't go over that because that'll mess up our CSS. So it'll shoot this content box way over here to the right and it just would look really bad. So let's save this. Now let's reload this. And why isn't this working? Because we haven't added our short code in. Short, short code in. So go to appearance, go back to theme options, go to home page, uh, right down here in CDOCS featured content, do a bracket. This is usually how you call stuff in WordPress. Easing slider close bracket, save options, let's reload it. There is our slideshow and if you want to make an adjustment to the CSS on it, so we can go ahead and go back to um, easing slider and let's go to slider settings and I can go ahead and create this, I don't know, 400 by 380. Just kind of play around with your settings. Go back and save changes. Let's go ahead and reload it. A little bit bigger. All right, guys, so we successfully added a WordPress slider to our responsive theme. All right, maybe I'll see you in another video.